Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorials and today I'll provide you and show you this type of logo making tutorial. I'm using the Illustrator 2020 and how to make this logo in this Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. Let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first go to the file and take a new panel and this window will appear. After that, take a artboard. If you are the confused, then you can follow my steps. Otherwise, you can take your own measurement. Here I am taking the 1200 pixel by 1200 pixel. No bleed over here. Going to the advanced option and taking RGB color, or you can take the CMYK for the printing purpose and take the medium pixel per inch and hit the create button. You'll get new artboard over here. At first, I'll draw or make the logo, then take the backgrounds go to the rectangle tool or you can press m from the keyboard draw a rectangle don't forget to press and hold the shift button and then turn off the fill color and give the stroke thickness around 40 or 50 that's fine and change the stroke types from here and you can make smaller make the smaller square and then just go to the anchor point over here and you'll get the double arrow key then press the shift button and hold it and then rotate this one and press v from the keyboard you will go to the move tool then press the option button and drag it and just drag over here that's fine and you have to manage it like that so don't overlap this one or this portion will be inside another rectangle or square shape so select these two things and go to the direct selection tool or press a from the keyboard press the shift button and hold it and select the anchor point here 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 and here and then drag those things into the middle you'll get the round shape over here and then select this portion or you can select this middle area and press the delete button Press V from the keyboard, select all the things and go to the stroke options, make it round like this, that's good. And then press the shift button and rotate it and make it like this. After that, just select all the things like that. If you need, you can increase the stroke thickness, I'm making this one like that. And then go to the object, expand and hit the OK button that's fine and now select all the things here two portion i want to merge it out so you need to pathfinder tool select all the things and you'll get the pathfinder over here if you don't get this over here go to the window and from here you will get the pathfinder in the lower side here so from here i'm select here the unite options it will be united and then make the fill color into stroke and change the stroke thickness like 20 that's fine and then again go to the object and expand this one and hit ok now our logo is ready now time for giving the background and if you need you can make it in a middle alignment from the artboard that's fine and then go to the square or rectangle shape give the value 1200 that's fine and hit ok and make it in a middle that's fine change color like blue color send back this background into the last layer that's fine and then v from the keyboard select this logo and give the color like white now we'll give the gradient like this and this so how to do that i'm making another copy select all the things press alter or option key and make another copy and select this one at first i'll give gradient over here you will find the gradient here if you don't get in this portion go to the window and gradient will appear over here so i'm select this one and giving the gradient which is the default one like black and white and then select this anchor point gradient slider and give the color like this and give another color like this press g from the keyboard and you can adjust the gradient or you can give the gradient like this you can adjust the gradient which one you want to that's fine 
and now time for giving another gradient color so select this portion and give the gradient like this change the gradient color here the pink one and another one is the baby pink that's fine G from the keyboard and then adjust the gradient like this so giving the gradient yeah that's good you can adjust this one by just turning it out yes now so after that go to the here the artboard options draw another artboard over here for the export purpose so i want to export this one how to do that Control shift option and s you'll find out another window and select the jpg mode and you can give the jpg high and you can give the quality 100 percent you can just make the optimized options or original you can select this one i'm giving the original options if you need you can increase the resolution like i'm using here the 200 that's why it's just giving the 200 percent values and make it save you can save in your desired folder which one you want to and save it out you are getting one logo how to make it out hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am a7 signing out today bye bye